tomorrow is the day. Christmas is just around the corner. In the first part, we looked at Advent, went to the Christmas market and visited the Ore Mountains. Today we are staying in Saxony for the time being because the Dresden Christmas Stollen is world famous and has even triggered a small war. If you just want a Christmas Stollen, you can also get it from bakers outside Dresden. The icing sugar coated Stollen is said to be a reminiscence to the red baby Jesus in the manga. On the other side of Germany, there are also Aachener Printen, a particularly hard form of gingerbread. The classic gingerbread came from Belgium via Aachen to Nuremberg, where there are several well-known gingerbread bakeries that sell their gingerbread all over the world in the famous decorative tins. Of course, many families also bake at home, at school or in kindergartens. 84% of Germans have a Christmas tree. The Christmas tree in Germany is almost always real. In 2019, about 12% of Christmas trees were made of plastic. The Nordmann fir is the most popular. Even in the Middle Ages, the sprouse was the tree of the pool. The origin of the trees can probably be traced back to the tree of knowledge in the mystery place. The first written evidence of fir trees obtained at Christmas came from Strasbourg. The first evidence of decorated trees came from Alsace. Even the tinsel that was widely used in the past was invented in Germany in Nuremberg. At the beginning of the 17th century there was a lot of movement in decorating the Christmas trees here. Some people wonder why in Germany the trees are not put up and decorated until late, sometimes only on Christmas Eve. This is probably a combination of many different reasons. To ensure that the Christmas tree and sprouse trees in particular are still fresh, they are brought into the warm parlor as late as possible. Rarely are live trees in pots used and the modern water-filled Christmas tree stand was only invented in 1980s, again in Germany. In older houses there was a gute Stube, a kind of living room for special occasions. This parlor was closed for most of the year. It was only opened on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Even if the tree was put up a little earlier, nobody could see it. In my youth, we still had real candles on the tree from time to time. Of course, these candles only burn for a few hours before they burn out too much that it becomes dangerous. And of course, they have to be watched all the time. Of course, you only do this if it's worthwhile. What's more? Today's homes are often not as big as they used to be, so a tree can get in the way a bit and things can get a bit hectic in the run up to Christmas. I think all this means that the tree is traditionally put up quite late. Incidentally, I can recommend putting up a tree with real candles if you haven't already done so. It's a completely different atmosphere to a string of lights. However, you shouldn't do this if you have free range of free flying pets and you should be also careful with small children. The children write their wish list that if you like, you can also send them on one of the nine German or some international Christmas post offices that I know. Of course, Christmas shouldn't just be about giving presents, but let's be honest, as children that was probably the most important thing for us. When all the shopping has been done and the little German fridges have been filled to the brim, the Christmas Eve is here. This year Christmas Eve is a Sunday and therefore the fourth Advent, making Advent the shortest possible season. This means that everything must have already been bought on Saturday. Normally, 
The food for Christmas is prepared the day before. The potato salad can be left to infuse as can any soup. As Christmas Eve can otherwise be quite stressful if some parents have to work until midday, there is no need to stress about the food here. As mentioned, the tree may still be decorated. People get dressed up and go to church. On Christmas Eve, the churches are fuller than usual, often with several services. One for younger children, often with a nativity play, then the typical church service and often a mass at midnight. By the time you get home, someone has to make sure that the tree is lit up and there are lots of presents underneath. Now you can understand why food is not so important because the children can hardly wait to unwrap their presents. So now it's time for singing, which is definitely part of it and it is usually very embarrassing for teenagers. And now it's time for presents or food, whichever you prefer. In Germany, presents are unwrapped on Christmas Eve. And who brings the presents? As we know, before the Reformation it was St. Nicholas. Then the Christ child was made responsible. This initially spread to Protestant areas, but gradually spread to Catholic areas. The Christ child, who initially represented baby Jesus, changed into the current form of a kind of angel without a specified gender. For several decades, the Nuremberg Christkindl has been chosen by the citizens of Nuremberg from a selection of voluntary young girls for two years. While St. Nicholas and the Christ child, two very Christian figures, took care of the gifts, for the most part, secularization set in during the 19th century. In Protestant areas, the negative counterpart of St. Nicholas, Knecht Ruprecht, began to be separated early on and all the tasks of gift-giving and punishment were handed over to him. Possibly due to the influence of Napoleon and the secularized approach since the French occupation, St. Nicholas and his companion Knecht Ruprecht became popular in combination with other mystical figures, including Odin, the father of the gods, to form the figure of Father Christmas. All the hallmarks of bishop disappeared and there was a little more rustic fur trim. In the poem Knecht Ruprecht from 1862, Theodor Storm writes how Knecht Ruprecht distributes presents and talks to the Christ child. So no, Father Christmas is not an invention of Coca-Cola, but the advertising campaign has greatly spread the typical image of a fat man with a white beard and a red and white suit, which had already existed to some extent. So if someone is not so attached to the Christian fate at Christmas, they can have Father Christmas come around because he no longer has anything to do with the Christian religion. What I find interesting is that in the calculations about sleighs and reindeers, which doesn't play any role in Germany, he is only ever supposed to pay a visit to Christian households. This would be the Christ child within the Christian household and, as a kind of angel, he would certainly have enough brothers and sisters to be able to divide it up very quickly. Incidentally, Children in other Christian countries receive presents on very different days, sometimes on St. Nicholas Day, sometimes on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, which is also known as Boxing Day, sometimes on New Year's Day or even on the day of the Three Wise Men on the 6th of January. And when we all see that the Orthodox Christmas is postponed by several weeks, then it is not the same everywhere. But regardless of whether or which religion you belong to, I wish you frohe Festtage, a happy festive season and, if you like, fröhliche Weihnachten and Merry Christmas. <laughs>